right, so we went on our nature walk. That was super fun. I hope um, you got to be able to go through your neighborhood or go through the trail system or find in this beautiful fall all sorts of things. Let's see what I came up with on my walk. And remember that all the, oh my gosh, such treasure. Remember that all letters are made up of straight lines and curvy lines. So I kind of talked about this. And so what you're looking for when you gather are things that have natural curves in them. Like some of the sticks I picked just because it has a curve or some of the things were just, you know, like an O shape or a D or, and some were straight. So almost every line kind of has that um, quality of straight or curvy. We can even, you can even, if you find something that's kind of like a circle, that can be an O. We can ignore the fact that there's no hole in the middle because we're just being kind of loose with this anyway. So how I would actually start is to write your name down or write your word. This could be your name. This could be a word, you know, for kids in the upper levels maybe there's a inspirational word like you know uh, believe or uh, maybe doubt or faith or whatever you want to put so you can make this a word you can make it your name for the kindergartners practicing your name and practicing uppercase and lowercase letters in your name is going to be really a fun way to use this project so what i would do at first is have a parent or a adult help you write out your name in pencil so that you can follow along with the lines or if you are maybe in upper grade you just start building the letters and see how they work together and try to get kind of the same sizes so let's see what we have and get our names written down and uh and get going so you can do this on a piece of paper or if you have a board or something um uh like a background. I kind of had an old piece of board so it seemed sturdy enough that I could build on it. So you just use a pencil and write, have a, a parent or adult write your name or you know if you're writing your own word if you're in upper class. I did mine in Sharpie just so you could see it on film but you really can just do it on pencil so you can make mistakes. Also have a pair of scissors handy because some of these things when we get to them, we'll want to cut these into the shapes that we want. So if you have a glue gun, that's awesome. I don't expect many of you to have a glue gun. If you have a, just Elmer's glue, that will work, or even a glue stick, or even a piece of bubble gum, who cares, right? But if you can glue it down, that's great. And sometimes we do art projects that are just process, that are just kind of what they call ephemera. So they're there for a minute, and then they disappear. So what I thought for online especially is you can just draw it out on your paper or on your board and you can then take a picture of it and submit it and then you can just rearrange it and draw another letter or use different things for your same name and try it many different ways with many different materials. So that way you don't ever have to glue it down. You're just kind of building um, all sorts of different things with and trying out different materials. So let's see what we have. So I, my name is Julie. So I have a J, a U, lowercase U, a lowercase L, an I, oh, and the dot of the I, I got some good ideas for that. And then a lowercase E, that's tricky. So if I'm starting with these kinds of um, curves, I actually gathered uh, an amazing J that was a stick and now I can't find it but this is kind of close I could probably break that off a little bit or curve it oh I just found another J type of thing I'd have to get rid of the oh, look at that so it's not following my outline that's why I'd do it in pencil if I were you and not on film but if it's just in pencil, the outline will go away and that'll work as a perfect J. I love that. Oh, I wish I had a name with a Y in it. That is a perfect Y. 
So, oh, I found an L. So you don't have to go in order. I found that L and out of a piece of bone and it's not quite long enough. So maybe I'll find, I could find something different like that to make the L or I could make uh, find another piece of bone and keep it kind of consistent, make that my L. And then, oh, I love this piece of wood for my eye. And look, I found a little, this only works really if you're not gluing it down and just taking a picture of it and sending it in because this is going to rot and um, turn into like a little raisin, this little tiny apple. But it's perfect to take a picture of and send it in as uh, that happened now. Oh, look at these great things I have. See, I need something really curvy though for my E and it's going to be hard to get it to lay down. So that this is where the glue kind of comes into play. But this is a perfect, this baling twine would be perfect for my E. I'm gonna cut it there, and maybe I can even tie a knot to get it to stay in the right shape for me for just a minute. Oh, that's gonna be tricky, I got a slip knot. That one almost needs to be glued down or tacked down, but you can see how that makes, woo! an E. Maybe if I got something like this, it's a little looser. Remember when I found that up the canyon? I bet that would lay down in an E with me not having to glue it. Let's try and see if that will work. Yeah, that works a little bit better. Yeah, I kind of like that fuzzy end, so I think I'm going to cut it off there so I still have that fuzzy end at the end. I like that. So now I just have my U. Oh my gosh, there's so many great sticks that are out there that you can even, um, some of them are super breakable. I like that. And this kind of turns into, if I break it just in the right places, it almost bends like a a curve. So those are my curvy lines and my straight lines making up those letters. So if you have a really long name, then find a really long board like Alexandra or Stephanie or something. And if you have a short name, you can just find a piece of paper. I'd take a picture of that and then look at my pile again and decide, oh, next time around, I'm going to use a pine cone for my eye. And maybe I'm gonna dot my eye with a piece of glass. And maybe my E is going to be, oh, maybe I'll use something like this for the E with a, oh, I love these little, little fall leaves too. Maybe I can turn that into my dot on my eye. Lots of good eye dots. But sometimes you can't use everything Oh, look at that. I found a little heart-shaped stone. That could be a good dotted eye, too. Oh, well, I love you guys. I know there's a million different ways that you can write your names and put this together and get help from your big people if you need help and do two or three or four or glue it down and keep it forever and put it on your wall the way I did Shooter's name up in my barn. But I hope you have fun. I hope you go on a hike out in this beautiful weather and I hope you find all sorts of magnificent natural things that you can figure out how to make letters with and write your words. Thanks. I love you guys. Oh, the art puppy is exhausted. But he says goodbye. Goodbye, art puppy. Goodbye. <laughs>